there goes the train that brought me in from Birmingham New Street, 172334. It's going to Hereford now, via Worcester Fallgate Street. It reverses here at Shrub Hill for five minutes. Right, hello everybody, me, Sam Squirrel, trains and more here, back with a vlog. It's a very cold one this morning. You join me at Worcester Shrub Hill Railway Station, which is one of the seven stations which are visiting on part two of the Cotswolds line. I started this in June when it was really nice and warm, and it's February when I'm filming part two and it's freezing cold. Hopefully it will warm up though with the sun being out. But the stations which I've got covered today, and I hopefully I get all these right, is Worcester Shrub Hill, which we're already at, Worcestershire Parkway, Pershaw, Evesham, Honeybourne, Morton and Marsh and Kingham. I think I've got them all. It's going to be our weights today, it is, so if anything goes wrong, we have to basically abandon the plan. So if Great Western Railway pay up, because I'm relying on the Great Western Railway from now on until we get back to Worcester Fulgate Street later, There'll be problems. We're waiting for the 0915 Great Western Railway service now, which will take me to the next station, Worcestershire Parkway, where it will be actually more a bit more fun because we get to do a filming session there. But afterwards, we basically just have to sit around in the cold for the hour. We do. And um, wait for the next ones. Because I just may as well do it that way as well as uh, just, just, uh, just easier basically than doing it uh, where I go back one and then come back and also I don't think I can do that on my ticket I want but Worcester Shrub Hill is a West Midlands Railway station and it has got three platforms and Great Western Railway also stop here and also it's got some good lifts. don't think I've ever seen them at a railway station before and it's also got a platform three which never gets used it does and toilets and a cafe which is good as well and um, it's, apparently it's also got Victorian waiting rooms at this station as well. Let's see if we can check them out. They might be locked though. You know what they're like with locking waiting rooms. But anyway, I'm waiting for the train now. So I'm just going to uh, stop grabbing on and wait for the train to take me to my first station. Well, second station, Worcestershire Parkway. Right, there's the uh, Victorian waiting rooms. I'm not going to go inside them with the camera because there's people sat in there. But yeah, and they are actually open as mentioned. Also, this is one of the two stations there in Worcester, Worcester, uh, Fourgate Street. It's either been at Shrub Hill. You'll see in a minute though when we go to Worcestershire Parkway, that's in the middle of nowhere. We'll be seeing plenty of these units today, the IETs, by Great Western Railway. That is 800-028, so we'll be on that one later. And I'm just making sure I know where to stand. So first class is at the, is at the rear then, by the looks of it. Is that the rear that first class is at? I think so. B, that is. No, first class is at the front. So I'll have to make sure I avoid that section. Get on at the back. Guess what, guys? The train's been delayed to uh, take me to the first station, which is Sheer Parkway, which is actually really annoying. It wouldn't have been out of a big deal if it was delayed from Worcestershire Parkway to Pershaw because the, the main reason is I was going to do an hour's filming at Worcestershire Parkway because you've got the cross-country stuff going from the low-level platforms but that might not be happening anymore thanks Great Western Railway not some sort of congestion issue in the Great Moving area I'm not getting the Great Moving train I've already done that section if you want to see that section there'll be a link up in the corner but yeah hopefully this uh 9 15 train shows up soon and it probably will be a little bit still because the nine o'clock to uh westbury via bristol temple meets is also delayed so fun stuff right here comes the westbury train via bristol temple meets and gloucester it is a, it's a 166 166 220 
That'll fall up in a second with all them passengers waiting. Well, you can change it at Worcester uh, Shrub Hill for the outskirts of the city centre. And also, this is Worcester Depot, and they've actually got 196, 106 standing here. There you are. Oh, oh. Well. I say 196, 106 as uh, it fires up. Is it off somewhere? That was good timing then. And there's also a shed up there and I can't work out what shed it is from here. That shed up there is moving. Also, what I like about Worcester is they've still got semaphore signals and signal boxes up until about Drutwich Spa, which is very, very cool. And in fact, pretty much most of the Cotswolds line between Worcester and Oxford is all um, uh, like manually signalled still. Which is a little bit annoying because I can't work out where the train's at. But, still quite cool. I never intended to have an hour wait at Worcester Shrub Hill. I intended to have 36 minutes, but it's now turned into an hour, hour wait at Shrub Hill. Because the train's 20 minutes late it is. Which means, filming, I'm just going to have to cancel it at uh, uh, Worcestershire Parkway. I won't make a trains at Worcestershire Parkway video anymore because the cross countries and then what and the freight are probably already passed through so if there is anything coming through during my uh it'll be 40 minutes wait now I'll film it unless the next London Paddington service is delayed I might add the full hour but by the looks of it we won't be able to do the filming at Worcester Worcestershire Parkway which is really annoying because I was hoping to do it because I didn't get to do Worcestershire Parkway last year I didn't Right, I'm on 800-02-802-021. This is going to take me to the first station, Worcestershire Park, although apparently they're attaching another set to us. I was like, really? I was like, I didn't think some of these platforms were on the Cotswolds line are long enough for 10 carriages, so presumably it'll be front five carriages. I think I know Worcestershire Park where they can fit 10 cars, but definitely not the others. So it seems a bit weird how they put a 10 car service on uh, this one, but in Caven. Seems a bit odd. Sorry. Right. right, running about 38 minutes late is uh, the Great Western Railway service, the 0921 to London Paddington from Great Malvern. It is 802.021 and 802.020. Right, it's uh, Worcestershire Parkway, Great Western Railway run station. Uh, it's got three platforms and you also get cross country here. And then the plan originally was to do an hour's filming here, but that's not happening anymore because what was due is basically gone now. So if that were here for about 20 minutes now, we're on 1022 to uh, Pershaw next. And then the hour wait start. Well, we had an hour wait at Shrub Hill. But anyway, Worcester, you can, Worcestershire Parkway is a parking ride station. I think it's meant for people to change trains in between the cross country and the Great Western and also for getting the train into Worcester and uh, yeah. We are sorry to announce that the 10.40 cross country service to Nottingham yeah. via the, Birmingham New Street is the day by across me seven minutes. Seven minutes. Uh, so yeah. I do like this station, although I always say this, it's a shame there's no coffee shop. They've got toilets, they've got waiting shelters, which is perfect, but no coffee shop, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, in fact, I might use the toilets here, actually, whilst the mirror, actually, because there's no toilets at the next one, which is Pershaw. There's toilets at Evesham, but no toilets at Pershaw. Anyway, yeah, I'm actually going to head back over to Platform 3 now to get the uh, 1022 Great Western Railway service, which will take me to... Do, 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 do. Uh, partial. 
I do love this uh, station, especially the views from it. You can also see the cross uh, country route there. And also, this station is by far the newest on the Cotswolds line. It opened on the 23rd of February 2020, which makes it just under three years old. We'll be turning three in a couple of weeks. Well, when I'm filming this anyway, it will be free by the time you, uh, you guys are watching. Well, here comes my great western says to to London Paddington. Well, not London Paddington, the next stop, Pershaw. 800 Right, there goes the 1028 Great Western Railway service to uh, Guns and Paddington from Great Malvern. Right, so we've now made it to Pershaw, which is a Great Western Railway only run station, and it's got just the one platform. It used to have two. There's actual remains of an old disused platform, which I'll show you in a second. And for some reason, I wasn't sure how many carriages fit in the platform, so I was like making my way forward through that train. Then I think I got off like the front two carriages, but, but I think you can fit five carriages here because that all the doors opened on the train. So at least I know now because it does look like down there they have built platform extensions but i always like to be in like the front one or two carriages just just to make sure i do anyway here for an hour we're waiting for the 1127 great western railway service now to take us our next station and a bit more bigger stage i say bigger it's a bit more like facilities evesham that's why i went to the toilet at worcestershire park because i know there's no toilets here by sure because it's unstaffed Right, here's your remains of what looks like an old disused platform here at uh, Pershaw. Although it looks just like this track's been recently even redone this side, but yeah, you've got the remains of an old disused platform. It's very small remains though. It is. Probably only looks like it would probably fit like one or two carriages, although it looks like that part's been taken out though, to be honest. So maybe would have fit more back in the day. You can change at Pershaw for what looks like an industrial state. There's loads of uh, activity going on. And also, Pershaw Town Centre, which I think is more of a village than a town centre, to be honest with you. Because the station's quite small. Well, it does get an hourly service because there was actually four dodgy ones. And I'll explain, towards the end of the vlog, how we're going to do the dodgy stations. We're not doing them today, but I'll explain, towards the end of the vlog, how we're doing them. Right, here comes the 1045 Great Western Railway service to Great Malvern from London Paddington. 800 032. Sarah Williams Martin. Here comes the IET Great Western Road to take me out of here. It is. What have we got? 800036. Right, there goes 800036 going to London Paddington via Oxford from Great Malvern. Alright, here comes the delayed 1144 Great Western Motors to Hereford from London Paddington. 
800 010. Right, we've now made it to our, is this the uh, fourth station of the day? I think it is, fourth station of the day. Evesham, which is a great Western Railroad station and something different for you. Two platforms, this station is in a more built up area as opposed to uh, Pershaw. Although the next one we're going to in a minute, Honeybourne is again a bit more rural. And uh, yeah, here for just under an hour. But waiting for the 1227 service now take us to our next station Honeybourne uh, you can change here at uh, uh, Evesham and he said Port Pershaw again then for uh, Evesham Town Centre you can I must admit I do find this part of uh, Evesham station quite pretty you've got a little pretty garden over there to be honest with you and it's uh, saying the um, Cotswolds and Wolven Line Great Western Railway and also a nice picture of a steam train here. Yeah. Shame we've not got any steam going through uh, Evesham today, but never mind. And there's also the old intercity trains there too. Very, very cool. Here comes the train which is going to take me to Honeybourne. Another IET because they're the only ones that run down this line at this time. There is 165s and 166s as well. But I'll explain that later. What have we got? We have got Sarah Williams Martin. I see this one now, yeah. 800032. I'm in the first class section. I need to move up. Whoops. Right, there goes the Great Western Railway Service to London Paddington via Oxford. I've already got a photo of that one though, so I don't need a photo of it. Off she goes. Right, now we're to the next station of the day, which is Honeybourne, Great Western Railway Station. It's got uh, two platforms, don't know why I went to say one. And I'm just thinking, this station is actually... You can see the trains like coming and coming and going. So it's a shame not many uh, more trains use this like line, and it's a shame that freight that one was as required is not running too, because if that was running, it might have been a uh, a winner winner. Because also uh, this station reminds me quite a lot of uh, Hasden and Tain Park, where the Chilton Main Line. It has that vibe to me. The only difference is here is that's only a waiting shelter as opposed to a waiting room. And there's also no station building at this station because again it's unstaffed but we're here for an hour and then we're on towards to Morton in the Marsh we are which is a bit more stuffed uh I was thinking though this station uh looks lovely to take some nice photos actually I can probably get a few good photo shots at this station so I might do that and have my lunch during the hour that I've got here and uh the other train that goes the other way isn't stopping at this hour it isn't so that'll be an a nice, uh, a good shot to get that an IAT at speed as well, which would be good. In fact, there's the sign. If I had to say about Honeybourne, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, spend some time at this station then. You can also change here at Honeybourne for the All Things Wild Adventure Zoo Park thingy mob, which is just around there somewhere. And I've uh, never heard of that place until um, uh, I looked today, so that's a new one. Never knew that was a thing. But there's also some benches here as well. And I'm seeing if there's good... Oh, there is a nice bench in the sun. Because in the shade, it's a bit chilly. But if I go into the sun, uh, it's a bit more warmer. Ooh! You've got one of the help points here, which has got the next train button. I'm not going to press it, though. Because, um, to be honest with you, you can see when the next train is on the board anyway. You can. This was the least used station in Worcestershire until December but then Hartlebury's took over that place although I, 
I, I'm still saying it's, it's weird how hard to be back as the least used station was this year now. Because I, I, I swear more people use that station than this. I'm pretty certain I was the only person that got off the train then at Honeybourne. Am I missing something? But I've just wandered down platform number two. There's the stairs over to the footbridge. Where's this? What's this track for? Because I thought there was just two lines through here, but apparently there's four. But this track doesn't look like it's uh, really gets used because the sleepers are a bit knackered on it. And it's starting to get a bit of vegetation in the way. So if anybody, any of my subscribers or anybody knows why there's a, more track here at Honeybourne besides them two lines, so let me know in the comments. The only thing I do know is in a bit of history that the line used to go to Stratford upon Avon, and there's been rumours that that line might be open, so we'll see. Just look at the views behind me right now, also. But yeah, look at the size of that ramp there. Do I just try and keep you plumbing fit, don't they, here at uh, Honeybourne? Right, we're going to have a passing Great Western Railway IET. This should be 800-013, going from London Paddington to Hereford. Let's go. Out. Trains come in. This should be 800-023. Take us to Morton in the Marsh. IATs on this train to uh, take me to Morton in the Marsh and I really need the toilet roll. So I'm glad that uh, our wait is up. Right, there goes the train to London Paddington by Oxford. I could say this all day. <laughs> 800 Right, so now I've made it to the next station of the day, Water in the Marsh. We've just got one more to do after this, which is Kingham, where we reverse. And my first time getting out of here, I've always known Morton in the Marsh as one of them places that uh, comes up on a list of like day trips for coach trips. I think my mum's my mum said once that uh, you go to Morton in the Marsh to go to the market where you can go buy a mop. <laughs> uh. Well, anyway, here for 50 minutes and I'm on the 14.52, providing it's on time, to Kingham. Because if it's not on time, we're going to have to abandon Kingham because I've only got a 10 minute turnaround at Kingham to get the uh, 15.11 back to Worcester Fourgate Street. So, hopefully, we have no problems with the uh, trains running late. I mean, they have, because the, the, the only the biggest delay we had was at the start of the day with that 40 minute delay from Worcester. Otherwise, they've been just, just running about two minutes away, two, three minutes. Anyway, where's the station sign to prove we're here? There it is. Where's the station sign? Well, can you actually read that? There's a better shot. Anyway, yeah. Let's just... This station's a bit more, got more facilities and is also closer to the town centre compared to some of the other stations which we've uh, done today. Here at Morton in the Marsh, you still actually have an actual signal box, which they still use. Damn. This is um, history compared to the West Coast Main Line and down my way, which is all automatically controlled now. This is all like 
it's the Nazi, like the guys in there doing the signals. That's cool. Right, here comes the delayed 1418 Great Western Railway Service to Worcester Fourgate Street from London Paddington. This is 800. 305. And I don't think it, does it fit on the platform? Because this is a nine car. I'm not actually sure if it does fit in platform, actually. I don't think it does. Or does it? Oh. I think it's just hanging off. Here comes the train which goes to the final station that I'm doing today, Kingham. And when we get to Kingham, I've only got 10 minutes. We're just under now because the train's been three minutes late. 800 zero, 10. Right, we're on this train to Kingham now. Only, only oh god, only for a few minutes. Uh, this service it takes about four minutes to get to uh, Kingham and then over the footbridge over to the other side. And also, I've also got a seat reservation on the next train. Also, this train is a little bit more busier compared to the other ones. I think it's because it's come from Hereford, to be honest with you. There's, there's a few that go to Hereford. Most of them go to Worcester, and then there's some that go to Great Wolverine, and then there's a few that extend to uh, Hereford. There is. Right, just about to go back Kingdom. I, I, I got my ticket checked then. I'm sure that's not like the first time I've got my ticket checked on the trains all day. To be honest with you, it's a bit, seems a bit weird how they haven't been doing the uh, ticket checks. At least, he, at least he's doing the ticket checks here, which is uh, jolly good. I wonder if I would get checked on the way back to Fourgate Street because obviously I'm double back in at uh, Kingdom. Just crossing the footbridge, but there goes my train, which brought me in from Morton in the Marsh. Well, that was the Paddington Bear one, 800 zero 010. Right now, I made it to the last station of the Derma Turnaround station, of which you got 10 minutes there. I'm crossing the footbridge, we get the 1511 back to Worcester Forker Street, but Kingham is a great western railway station and it's got two platforms. I'm glad we're able to squeeze this one in today by making our turnaround station because we've only got 10 minutes here. Because obviously, and I'm going to explain why I can't go any further in here because after this station, this is where the dodgy stations come in. Shipton, uh, Ashton, Under, China, whatever it's called. Ah! Uh, Finstock and Coombe have only got like like two trains a day so if I was ever to do them stations it would be the case of foot, putting my foot on the platform which uh, I probably will do I'll probably get the uh, limited service one day put my foot on the platform and take a picture and then that will just be enough because I ain't hanging out there all day to wait for them limited trains so uh, yeah just to uh, prove what Kingham there's one of the station signs but yeah, we're waiting for this 1511 service back to where uh, was the Fourgate Street now. And, um, yeah. I do like these cool heritage signs that they've got uh, here at King. I think they had them at a, uh, a few other stations as well. But they're very, very snazzy. So you can change at Kingham for a really annoying waiting room where the door slams. Nah, no, more serious. You can change for the villages of Bredington and Kingham. Although Bredington's actually close, close to us. I don't understand why they didn't name the station Bredington as opposed to Kingham. But uh, my train back to Great Malvern, which I'm going to get off at Worcester Fourgate Street, is within a minute late. It is. And uh, yeah, and also I've got a seat reservation on this one, and I'm not. I might get a, use my seat reservation. Depends how busy it is, because not all the time I will use my seat reservation. Because it, it, Great Western Railway does recommend you to book seat reservations, particularly if you're on a longer journey. And I'm at, on this train back to Worcester Fourgate Street uh, for 45 minutes. I am. So uh, yeah, so I have got a seat reservation in Coach C, but I might not sit in it. It just depends how busy the train is.
Right, I'm on 800036 going back to... The next station is Kershaw. Yes, I know. I've already done it now. And, uh, yeah, we go back to Worcester Fall Street on 800036. So I'm going to end this the vlog here. I'm going to do a thing. Speak to Yeah, so we're on the way back to Worcester Fourgate Street now, so I'm going to end the vlog here and then I'm going to get the train heading from Fourgate Street and uh, so I do hope you enjoyed the vlog of Cotswold's Line Part 2 we'll try and figure out how we'll do the dodgy ones in the future, so stay tuned if you want to become a member of the channel, for some more exclusive packs what is going on with my hair because I've had my hat on all day uh, you can do, the a join button down there for membership shout out to all the current members and like the video if you enjoyed it Comment down below some feedback would be appreciated and consider subscribing, it's free and on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Alright, take care everybody, bye all guys and peace out.